Okay, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, so I cannot hear you. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. Jocelyn, are you speaking? But I don't hear you. Hello, teacher. Hi, Jenny. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Are you speaking? Yes. And let's see that. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Hello. Are you speaking, Milagro? Yes. But I don't hear you. Usted no nos escucha, Tiche. Check audio. My audio is okay. That seems. Okay, can you speak? Okay, now I can hear you. Okay. Okay, hello, Milagro. Hello. Finally. Qué alegría oír esa dulce voz. Okay, no hay nada. Okay, good. Hi, Lilian. Hi, teacher. Okay, good. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, teacher. Oh, hello. Okay, Reina, how are you? Hello, teacher. Oh. Okay, Oscar. Oh, what's that, Oscar? We're so surprised. <laughs> uh, that's good. And, um, or, please. Okay, good. Fine. Hey, hello, Ivania. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Good? Very good. Okay, um, only one, two, three, four, two, four, six, eight, ten. Para que faltan más o... Ya no están viniendo todos, ¿verdad? Que venían antes. Creo que... No, teacher, no. Pero por qué... Menos. No se han... No se registraron o qué pasó. Han hecho dos grupos. Ah, ok, ok. That's good. Bueno, eso está bien. Eso está bien porque por lo menos este... Ya queda un poquito más de tiempo para cada uno. Excellent. Yes. Okay, very good. Then we have more time to practice. That's good. 
Uh, let's see, yesterday I told you that today we're going to practice with yes, no. Yes, no what? Yes, no. Yes, no questions, right? Yes or yes. Okay, yes, no questions. And practicing with, I uh, have a lot of windows open. And another one that I have to close. Okay, today we have the words. Okay, what is the the verb, for example, the the ones that we were practicing yesterday about the a, how do you say the um, questions with do? What was your question? Do you have okay? Do you play? Remember, do you work? Uh, do you study? Uh, do you Understand. What do you do? What, huh? what do you do with questions? Like where do you live? Okay, these are questions more uh, specific with uh, information, right? There are some other questions that are more more general. Okay, when you are using are you? Okay, is he? Is she? Okay, so those are the ones that we normally use. Okay, I'm going to show you some questions and then we're going to do the practice. Uh, but yes, here. Share the sound. Here we go. First question on the right side of the chart. What time do you get up? What time is the WH word? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up at a question mark at the end. Okay. Why is it getting blue? The next question. Does is the auxiliary verb. Wait a minute. Why well, it looks so kind of green? It looks very, very opaque and blue. Let me fix the platform. Okay, this is much better. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what. Okay. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Need to add a question really that I mentioned a minute ago. Or plus do or okay, this is what I need. Okay, so this is for example, this is what we we're practicing yesterday, right? Look at this one. He said, Do you get up early? Oh, I get up late. Okay, do uh, let's say, does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. For example, if I say um uh, hey, Oscar. Do you have lunch 
at a, is the complement. Do you have a lunch at 11 a.m.? Of course. Oscar, yeah. Puedes repetirlo, teacher, que tengo yes. como que se, no escuché por lo del video. That's okay, no problem. Uh, do you have lunch at 11 a.m.? Uh, yes. Ele 11, 11 o'clock or 11.30 a.m.? Okay, all right. So, yes. I do, right? You say, yes, I do. Okay. Yes, now, do. Uh, Jocelyn. Oh. We need to add a question mark at the end. Okay. okay. Now, let me show. Okay, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, does Oscar have lunch at 11 or 11.30 in the morning? Um... 11. Yes. Yes or no? Does he have lunch? At yes, 11? Uh -huh. yes, he does. Okay. Yes, he does. Okay. So this is what I want you to, to practice. Or this is what we're going to practice uh, using the, let me see where the questions. Yes, no questions. Okay, for example, we have example being with the you. Okay. Do you remember that um aquella actividad que el juego que de adivinar las personalidades, verdad? Ahora, pero en aquel momento que jugábamos solo lo hacíamos con is, are you, is he, he Okay, are you, are you, are you, are you? Ahora tienen, van a hacer preguntas usando do you. Por ejemplo, ahí está, do you? Do you have? Eh, do you play? Do you work? Okay, do you, um, next say, do you study? Eh, do you act? Eh, what else? Eh, are you an actor? An actor? Okay. And you are going to uh, guess the, the new personality, okay? Ahora, solo vamos a hacer esto. Primero, van a hacer las preguntas a mí. Y el que adivine va a tomar mi rol. Va a tener que poner una... Una, un, va a adoptar una nueva personalidad y todos le vamos a hacer preguntas a esa persona, ¿ok? You got it? ¿Sí? Ok. Como teacher, no, no entendí. Bueno, ahorita ustedes me van a hacer preguntas a mí, todas con yes, no questions. Yo solo voy a decir sí o no. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I am. O no, I am not. Y tienen que adivinar mi nuevo nombre. ¿Ok? Yes. Okay. Vale. Después de eso, okay. el vine, o sea, el ganador va a tomar mi puesto y nosotros le vamos a hacer la pregunta a esa persona y va a tener que ponerse otro nombre. Pero tiene que ser el nombre de una persona famosa. Puede ser hombre, hombre, mujer, eh, vivo, que ya esté, no, más que todo vivo, porque se ha muerto más de que estar pasado. Entonces tiene que ser una persona. All right. No puedo poner, por ejemplo, Elvis Presley. No, porque está ya murió. Entonces tendríamos que usar verbs in past tense. But I don't want to use verbs in past tense. Only verbs in present. ¿Ok? Ok, ok. Good. Perfect. Now just let me write the name of this person. It's going to... Ok, I got it. Este jamás lo van a adivinar. Ah. Ok. Good. Ready. Go ahead. Pregunte. Cualquier tipo Cual, de pregunta. Cualquier tipo de pregunta que le lleve a adivinar mi nueva identidad. Do you dance? 
Okay, do you dance? Um, no, I don't. Voy a decirles no. lo, que, lo, lo más popular que se conoce de esas personas. ¿verdad? Puede ser que sí, pero por lo general, no, I don't. Okay, continue. Ese es el tipo de pregunta. Do you dance? Uh, are you an architect? Are you an actor? Are you a doctor? Are you this? Are you? Para que tenga más o menos unidad, una idea de si es ocupación. La idea aquí es que pregunten eh, si es con una acción que hace o qué es él o ella. ¿Ok? Do you architect? Do you? Do you architect? Are you, are you an architect? Are you an architect? No, I am not. Teacher, uh, are you, are you a girl, boy, a boy or, or a boy. animal? I am, a, I am a person, yes. Are you an actor? No, no, I am an actor. Okay, so are you an architect? Okay, I'm a per I am a person, yes. What else? Are you girl uh, or boy? Boy. Okay. Are, do you engineer? Are you an engineer? No. No, I am not. Lillian? Do you like the music? Do you like music? Yes, I do. Okay. Mm, I are, are you a student? No, I am not. I am very famous. Very, very famous. Are you comedian? Comedian? No, no, I am not comedian. I am Are not you a, a singer? A singer? No, I am not a singer, Oscar. Okay. Okay. Question, Ivania? Milagro, you haven't said anything today. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, no questions. Do you? You are a dry. Are you? A dry. Uh, dry. Driver? In dry, my husband. Dri driver? No, yes. I am. No, I am not a driver. I am very popular and famous. Do you like pizza? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I like pizza. It's good. Okay, I am, uh, ya me retiré. Okay, I am retired. Le voy dando pista, I know. I am retired. Men. Famous. Popular. Alguna mujer dice que es handsome. Yo no sé. Okay, handsome. What else? Come on, come on. What's your name? <laughs> no. Okay. Por ejemplo, where do you live? Where do you live? Le voy a dar chance que pregunten con what. You are a woman? Uh, yes, honey. You are a woman? Where are you from? A woman? No. No. I am not. Okay. I am a man. Man. Okay. Yes. Popular. Famous. What do you work? Um, in the I have my 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 own businesses. Tengo mis propios negocios. I have my own businesses. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I am a millionaire. Oh. Millionaire. Are you? Technology. 
Uh, no, not too much. Nothing about technology. It's about clothes, shoes, and now, okay? Ese es mi nuevo trabajo. No sé cómo se dice empresario. You have a business? Businessman. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm in the business. What? What, 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 Jennifer? Imagine, men. The get it. Businessmen. The businessmen. <laughs> millionaire. Famous. Popular. Ya me retiré de lo que hacía antes y ahora hago otras cosas, pero soy millonario. Okay, I'm a millionaire. Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, no, no, Mark Zuckerberg. No, Mark Zuckerberg. That's Facebook. No, no technology. <laughs> no technology, no network, no uh, okay. social network. Okay. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice presidente? President. No, no politician. Are you president? No politician. No, no. no politician. Teacher, yes, what you... is what is your favorite? Uh, what is your favorite? How do you say pasatiempo? Uh, oh, that's um, that's a good question. Uh, my favorite hobby. Uh, probably uh, listen to music, uh, probably, um, let me see, and that in La Playa, uh, go to the beach, and Well, it's, for example, Teacher, uh, writer. Are you a writer? No, I am not a writer. Uh, teacher, teacher, how are your products? How? How are your products? My products, the products that yeah. I sell. Uh, yeah. Shoes, shoes and clothes uh, okay okay my wife my wife too my wife is uh, famous too are you, are you, you deportista famoso i were uh, designer no 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 designer no design no i am not a designer no uh, are you uh Famous sports player, hey, Jenny. A sport hey. player. Huh? Are you a famous sport player? Yes. Are you a famous sport player? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yes, I am. Ya yes, I am. Ya vamos cerca. Okay. Now we're getting closer. Hey, basketball. Uh, are you? Did you play basketball? Did you play basketball? No, 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 not basketball. Um, teacher. Are you the owner of Nike? Nike? No, no. No, I'm not the owner of Nike. Okay. Are you messy? <laughs> no, no, porque me retiré. Are you Maradona? No, he's dead. Ya murió. Está vivo. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult, teacher. No, very easy. Teacher, uh -huh. are you sit down? Are you sit down? Sit down, no, pero jugué con él. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
I play with him. Are you Roberto Carlos? Roberto Carlos, no, but I play with him. He's my Hippo Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, the country. Pregunten por el país de donde es. Get the country. Spain. Are you? Are you from? Ask the question. Are you from Spain? Are you from England? Are you from England? Yes, I am. <laughs> Brandon is Are oh my you God. David Beckham? Yes, I am David Beckham. ¿Quién lo dijo? Milagro. O Jenny. Usted, no, no, Milagro. Milagro. Okay, Milagro. Okay, good. Yes, David Beckham. Okay, he's famous. He, la esposa es, ¿cómo que se llama? Posh. Creo que va. De, tiene también Victoria Beckham. El posh le decían en el grupo de música. Okay, good. So then that's, uh, a, I am uh, David Beckham now. Change my name. Igualito, ¿verdad? Ojos azules, rubio, blanquito, ¿no? Exactly the same, right? Blue eyes. Oh, yes. Landy. Okay, right now. Hoy porque fui a la playa, me lo conocí. Right, so we have different, different tones. I don't know, Rip. I don't know. Okay. Now, Milagro. Ahora usted escoja una persona famosa que esté vivo, ¿ok? Que esté vivo o viva. Y nosotros le vamos a preguntar. ¿Lista? Okay. Yeah. ok, vaya. Hoy las preguntas van para Milagro. Ay, teacher, yo no puedo responder. Yo lo voy a decir. Si, 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 si le preguntan con do, va a decir yes, I do o no, I don't. Y si le preguntan con are you, okay. va a decir yes, I am o no, I am not. Ok, yo le ayudo. No problem. Ok, okay question. Eh, are you a woman? Yes. Ok. Are you a uh, uh, actor? Are you an actress? Like Angelina yes. Jolie? Yes. No. Okay. No, así como Angelina, right? An actress, yes. An actress and woman. Okay. And ya tenemos dos pistas. Yes. Are you from America? Um, no. No. Okay. Are you from Europe? No. Okay. No. No es europea ni americana. Mm. Are you a single? Are you from Latin America? Yes. Okay. Are you from Mexico? Yes. Va, ya no lo voy a preguntar más, ya les ayudé. Ok. Woman, actress, Mexica. <laughs> What is the next question? Uh, Milagro, do you, do you act in action movies? No. Ok. Ok, no. No action movies. So, Popperas. Do you have no do you do you have a children? Um, yes. Okay. A woman with children, actress, Mexican. Milagro, do you do you act in, in comedy movies? What? Do you, you act it in comedy movies? Uh, no. Okay. 
Okay. No action, no comedy. Do you act in telenovelas? Soap operas? Yes. Soap operas? Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Soap operas and novelas. Soap operas. Okay, now. Soap opera actress, Mexican, with children. Okay. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice cantar también? I sing too. I sing too. I sing too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Singer and actress. Singer and actress. Are you Selena Quintanilla? Uh, Selena. Selena. Uh -huh. no, Selena. <laughs> Selena ya pasó. No, no, <laughs> yes, she's dead. Are you Tali? Milagro. Milagro. Milagro, how old are you? Okay, good. How old are you? Um, 56, 50. 50? Yes. Okay. Hmm. 50. 50, 50. Are you lucid? No. No. You are better. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Question. Cameron Diaz. No, yeah. it's Mexican. Mexican. Oh. Mexicana. No, no, telenovelas, teacher. No. <laughs> okay. No are idea. You, um, let me see. Are you, um, mire, tiene 50 años, dijo que tenía, 50. Yes. Yes, okay. Mire, 50 uh, years old, children. Uh, Salma Hyatt. No. Yeah. Are you Gloria Trevi? No. Are you Maribel Guardia? No. Are, are you, you Ruby? Are you Angelica <laughs> Maria? No. My goodness. Uh, you are Carmen Salinas? No. <laughs> are you... No. My goodness. Are you... Um... Are you Araceli Arambula? No. Are, Are you, you Maribel Guardia? No. Are, Are you Talia? Yes. Yo le dije Talia hace como media hora. Sí, que lo escuché. That's okay, good. All right, wow. Hice como media hora. Y me había empezado la clase cuando le di. Ok. Right. Oh, my God. Ok, good. Ok, so then, this is for, you see, for example, you can ask questions, are you? Pero ven la diferencia de eres y do you. Ok, y hace. Do you act? Actúa. Eres Talía. Are you, uh, are you an actress? Ok, eso es lo importante. Ver la diferencia de cuando se usa el are you and the other one is when you use do you. Ok, do you play, do you act, do you have children. Ok, y al final se dieron cuenta que solo estaban are you, are you, are you, are you, are you. Pero estaban diciendo nombres, right? Are you Veronica Castro, are you Carmen Salinas, are you this, are you that. Ok, so that's the important thing with practice. Okay, now we're going to see that. Okay, wait. Oh, this is not. Oh, this is the one. Okay, then these are the yes, no questions. And then we have 
this question, do you exercise? Okay, for example, do you exercise every day? And you say, yes, I exercise every day. All right, this is the long answer. Estas son las respuestas largas, look. For example, they say, do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise every day. What is the short answer? ¿Cuál sería una respuesta corta? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay, yes, I do. Then when you say here, do you exercise every day? The next one is the question. What is the question here? Look at this. You, what time, lunch, do, eat? I'll show it. Um, what time? Mm -hmm. What time? The auxiliary verb. What time do you eat? What? Lunch. Long. Como te what te... do you? What time? I... What time do you eat lunch? Eat lunch. Uh -huh. What time do you lunch? Fíjense bien, cuando llenen este ejercicio, solo van a poner what time eat lunch. No le van a poner aquí el signo de interrogación porque ya está acá. Si lo ponen ahí, les va a salir mala. ¿Ok? Ok. Vean, me la marcó mal. Porque ya está el... Entonces, aquí sí lo quito. Y ya está bueno. ¿Ok? Entonces, toda esta ya está afuera, está el, el signo de interrogación, no va a ser necesario. Ok, good. What about the next one? Eh, what time do you eat lunch? At 1 p.m. 3. At the start at 8 o'clock this class. Just no question. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, you can use das in the chat. Das. Das. Mm -hmm. El sujeto, this, ¿Cuál es el sujeto de esta? De esta this, ¿no? That. This. Uh -huh. That. Does this. Does this. Es what? ¿En qué estamos ahorita? In the class. Ajá, uh -huh. then does this class. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Star. Ok, start. Ok. At 8 o'clock. Exactly. At 8 o'clock. No. Very good. Very, very, very good. All clock. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Does this class start at eight o'clock? They say no. This class starts at nine o'clock. Okay. This class starts at nine o'clock. 
Okay, good. The next one, I study English in the evening. Do you? Um, yes, but there is one word before, WH question. WH question. When, uh -huh. when you, when, when do a study English? When? When you do? The auxiliary verb, the auxiliary verb first. Uh, when do you? Okay, perfect. When do you? When do you study, study English? English? Perfect, then the action, uh -huh. and then English. There you go, okay? When do you study English? Vean que la palabra inglés también está en mayúscula, la, la letra E. En español no se escribe en mayúscula, pero en inglés sí lo llevan, okay? When do you study English? Why? Perdón, es, es considerado un nombre... Why? Es considerado un nombre propio. Okay, remember, in Spanish, solo los nombres propios llevan el, la cap, capital letter, right? Y los comunes, the common nouns, es con small case, con las minúsculas. But in English, los países, los días de semana, los días del mes, y, este, y los gentilicios, o sea, las nacionalidades, son considerados como nombres propios. Entonces, todos esos llevan mayúscula. Por ejemplo, dicen Monday con capital M. En español es con minúscula. Dice October con una O mayúscula y en español es con minúscula. Ok. Good. The next one. What is the next? Um, yes, we play soccer on Saturday. This is a yes no question. Yes, no question. No. Yeah. What? Do. Mm -hmm. Do. Do they? Yes, we play soccer on Saturdays. Usaremos siempre el we, teacher. Nope. Do you? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you? Do you? And weekend. Vea, vea todas las que están acá, ¿cuál falta? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Uh -huh. Do you play? Do you play? Para que sea we, porque usted me dice do you, solo sería si usted, y yo contestaría yes, I play, pero si para que sea we es un grupo. ¿Qué le falta al do you? Después del do you. Sure. ¿Mm? Do you do you we? No, ve aquí las palabras. Do you do you? Ya me dijo el you. Acuerda que esta rayita separa los grupos de palabras que tiene que poner en orden. And your friends. Ah, primero do. You, you and your friends. Uh -huh. and your friend, do okay. you play sports on weekends? Exactly. exactly. Okay. And your friends. Do you and your friends. Ese do you and your friends hace lo, el we. Okay. Porque ya. juegas tú y tus amigos eh, deportes en, la, en el fin de semana. Yes, say do you. 
do you and your friends play sports on weekends? Then it says, yes, we play soccer on Saturdays. Okay, esta última no tiene nada. No sé si a ustedes les va a salir algo, pero creo que está de más. Okay, to you. Quizá esa respuesta va abajo, teacher. Es, pero yo creo que esta de, si es si quiero, ese cuadro está bien. Sí. Pero esta entonces quizás está de más. Pero si sí falta, o sea, sobra uno. Tengo one, two, three. Four, y la primera ya está aquí. One, two, three, four. Estas dos cajitas están juntas, ¿verdad? Yo creo que eso es. Yes, do you. And friends. Escribí la respuesta abajo, teacher, y sí me da lo mismo. Sí, sí me da correcto. ¿Verdad? Ah, pues sí. Do you and your friends play uh -huh, sports okay, on weekends? Ahí está. Sé que está, pero mire, pero le da. Pero en esta. Pero faltan cinco puntos. Ajá. Solo que se repita la de arriba. Where do you study English? La única que me ocurre ponerle esto aquí mismo. Sí, mire. Entonces, como ahí está esa de más, entonces hay que, esta hay que ponerla dos veces para que no les quite los cinco puntos. Ok, porque hay dos cajas juntas. Es un error del, del sistema. Ok, entonces ahí la ponen dos veces igual. Ok, when do you study English? Recuerden no poner el signo de interrogación, right? When do you study English? Y justamente esta va acá. Do you and your friends play sports on weekends? Ok, good. Okay, then remember one thing. Uh, when you have this one, when there's a palabra de, de WH, they put it, what time? Okay, what time do you eat lunch? Okay, primero va el what time, a que horas, luego va el, esto se llama el do, se le llama auxiliary verb. Okay, es un verbo auxiliar porque no tiene traducción alguna. En esa pregunta. ¿Cómo, cómo, diría, ¿Cómo dicen esto en español? What time do you eat lunch? ¿A qué horas? ¿A qué horas vamos a comer? Almuerzas, ¿verdad? Vamos a comer. Ajá. ¿A qué horas almuerzas? No sé, el do no, no tiene nada que hacer. Entonces, solo es un verbo auxiliar para la pregunta. ¿Ok? In the, in the yes no questions, lo mismo. Does this class start at eight? Siempre va a haber el verbo auxiliar. Okay, let me. Okay, verbo auxiliar does. Aquí viene el sujeto. Que puede ser this class. Okay, si cambiamos. Voy a cambiar esto. Does your car, does your car have um, AC? Okay. 
okay. ¿Tiene su carro aire acondicionado? Está mal. Sí. ¿Ah? Does your car have AC? Yes, it does. Okay, entonces your se convierte en qué? Su car. Ajá, en el it means. It. Uh -huh. Entonces, the seat. The seat have um the seat have um the seat have a turbo. A qué se refiere este it? Cosa, animal, objeto. Pero, ajá, pero ¿y en esta pregunta? Al carro, ¿verdad? Ustedes si ven, por ejemplo, esto es lo que ustedes, lo, lo mismo que en español, solo como ahí es donde les decía yo que tenemos que cambiar el, el chip, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, cuando decimos, the, the seat have a car, dice, primero yo les doy la referencia de qué estamos hablando. Does, you, does your car have an A? Have um, AC. Tiene su carro. Air conditioning. Entonces dice, yes, it does. El it cambia. Okay, you change this it and then you put it in, in instead of car. It, car. Después le digo, does it have a turbo? Yes. Does it have new wheels? Tiene llantas nuevas. Does it have New tires. Ok. De ahí para allá puedo usar it, 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 it en todas las preguntas. Y ustedes van a saber que esta es una secuencia de preguntas siempre sobre su carro. Ok. Entonces siempre va. Verbo auxiliar. Ok. Does. Luego viene el sujeto. Ok, that's it. Luego viene el verbo. That's he have eh, four doors. Viene un complemento. Ok. ¿Tiene cuatro puertas? ¿Cómo, ¿Y cómo preguntaría? Mira, ¿tiene gasolina? How would you say the question? Does? Does. Uh -huh. have yes. Gasolina. No sé cómo se pronuncia. <laughs> gas. Does it have gas? Does it have gasoline? Does it have gas? Gas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does it have gas? Like there gas. you go. So <laughs> okay. Auxiliary verb. Subject. Action and complement. Okay, don't forget that. Don't forget it. Good. Now we're going to move to the one is some uh, thing about reading. Okay, now we're going to read to say what's your schedule like? What is this? Ok, este es otro detalle, right? What is your schedule like? ¿Cómo es su horario? ¿Cuál es tu horario? What is your schedule like? Aquí el like no es como gustar, ok? It's what's your schedule like? ¿Cómo es su horario? Oh, my schedule is from 7 a.m to 4 p.m. and then from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. 
Okay, that's my schedule. Seven to four and let's say seven to nine. Okay. Now listen. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events <clears throat> after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading? What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. I go to work at 10 p.m. Okay, questions about the vocabulary or expressions? No problem. Lean, vean, vean si realmente o sea, entienden toditas las palabras y las que no las ponen en el cuaderno y me preguntan, ¿ok? Una frase o algo que vean que les impide seguir comprendiendo lo que están viendo, me preguntan. Okay, he said, what's, what's how, your... schedule. Mm -hmm. how can you session is schedule, 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 hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events. Hmm. after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading? What's your schedule like? Okay, a schedule like. A schedule. A schedule. Let's say que repetirla varias veces, que es la más difícil de pronunciar en este grupo, en este diálogo. Schedule. Thank you. Schedule, okay? So, it says, what's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from eight until midnight. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at eight, around one. I take lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. 
when I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner, then I take a taxi home, and what time do you go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. Okay. Uh, for tomorrow, for tomorrow, please. Uh, piensen en cuál es su horario. Okay. Por ejemplo, a uh, la hora que se levantan. Like this. Student reporter Mike Starr. Okay. For example, I get up at six o'clock. I get up at four o'clock. Uh, I have breakfast at 7 p.m. I start work at uh, 8 a.m. Okay. For example, uh, Jennifer, what time do you start work? Seven a.m. Seven a.m. And what time do you get up? I get up. Um, for fifteen. No. For fifteen. Hey, for fifteen. But I get up at that time too. Okay. Good. For fifteen. And then for tomorrow, eh, preparen su horario. Okay. De qué es lo que hacen. Ponga unas cinco o seis eh, oraciones de lo más importante. Que se levantan. ¿A qué horas comienzan el trabajo? ¿A qué horas terminan? ¿A qué horas almuerzan? ¿A qué horas salen? Y luego, ¿a qué horas estudian inglés? Y luego, ¿a qué horas se van a dormir? Más o menos algunas cinco o seis eh, rutinas, right? Routines that you do every day. Take a shower, okay? I get up, I take a shower, and the time, okay? And practice a different verb. Ahí sí, así practica un verbo diferente. And... Recuerden que mañana vamos a tener clase, el viernes, pero para complementar las cuatro clases de esta semana. Eh, ya la otra semana vamos nuevamente de lunes a jueves. Y mañana comenzamos la sección 2 también, ¿ok? Eh, que ya se refiere a otro tema. Ok, people. So, have a good night. And I will see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, take care. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.